for Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet, reporting from the American Society of Hematology annual meeting in Orlando, Florida. After a median follow-up of three years, 97% of patients with chronic myeloid leukemia maintained a major molecular response on 800 milligrams of nilotinib daily. Nilotinib was recently approved as a first-line therapy because it demonstrated higher and faster molecular response rates compared to imatinib. We had the opportunity to use nilotinib frontline in Italy in early chronic phase patients for the first time in the world, along the, with the patient treated at the MD Anderson Hospital. Uh, it is important even now because uh, uh, this trial has the longest follow-up. What do your results mean for patients now? For patients means that uh, CML patients uh, have a new opportunity, uh, a second drug, nilotinib, which is safe enough because it's simply a clever evolution of imatinib, is potent enough and our trial demonstrated that uh, it is potent uh, to be used frontline uh, in electronic phase. Uh, the end point of the treatment of CML currently is to have 100% of the patients properly treated and alive in the long term. The next step is going deeper with the responses at the molecular level, so reducing usually the amount of uh, molecularly evident residual disease. The next step is uh, what I call a path to cure, so uh, to let the patient stop any treatment uh, after a proper period of uh, complete molecular response and then follow the patient without any treatment. Under imatinib, which is a very active but less potent drug, this is possible only in a small proportion of patients and most of them relapses. Our hope is that in the future with nilotinib more patients will have a, a, a very good mole, complete molecular response and so that a good proportion, hopefully most of them, will live without disease and without any treatment in the long term.